Hello, it's Crypto CJ. It's a trade of the day, Monday night slash Tuesday morning Zoom edition, depending on where in the world you are. And this is my first Monday call from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Still moving on in my uh, digital nomad tour. It's been fun visiting these countries, but uh, enough of that. The market has closed. The monthly candle is green on September. That's very rare. Many talking heads say that bodes well for October now that we put Rectember behind us. So today is October 1st where I am, probably September 30th for where you are if you're in the U.S. And we had a, a pretty good month in, in September, though we did have a dip uh, the last 24 hours. Bitcoin went from 65.5 down to about 63, 63K is trying to hold right now. Let's uh, Let's go to the charts. Okay, should be seeing my Bitcoin month chart. Yep. So here we have a big fat green candle on September. You can see August closed below 60K and considerably above it on, on September. So that's very bullish news. On the day chart though, we are dipping today. We hit some resistance here at 65.5. 65.8 and down to 63.3 at the moment. So <clears throat> there are wild prognostications on where Bitcoin's going to go this month and the rest of Q4. I've got Twitter up and I had a more detailed list, but I'll go with Kyle Chassis or Chasse, my favorite Bitcoin cheerleader on, on Twitter. And he's listed a few, a few reasons why Q4 is going to be a monster for crypto. The election is going to be over, whether Trump or Kamala gets in. They, they're both, at least they say they're pro crypto. I, I do think there'll be a bigger move if Trump gets in, but regardless, the news is pretty good for crypto politically in the U.S. so far. You know what politicians say, what they do are often different things, but we'll we'll see. November looks like we're going to have another interest rate cut, 50 basis points. And that's a good thing for markets overall. And then China's has lowered their interest rates considerably and they're injecting liquidity into the market. <clears throat> Whether they let Chinese people buy crypto or not could be another matter entirely. They tend to, you know, cancel or rule out or ban crypto every year. And at this point, it's not even news, but. Anyway, more liquidity in the markets is good for, for crypto in general. It means people have more money to buy it. And you know, the retailers will probably start piling in once Bitcoin uh, breaks the all-time high. I'm thinking around 75K, we might start seeing more retail investors. And that, that will really take us uh, potentially to 100. Um, I didn't put Ethereum up. Let me put that one up real quick. And Ethereum has, looks like locked in 2,500 as a, a support. And let's see where we are on that one. My internet's a little slow today. Well, I shouldn't wait just for this to load. Oh, there it is. Ethereum, Ethereum, 2605. Get the day chart up. And I hope my internet's better than this through the rest of this call. Okay, so, so we're above the 20 day moving average right at the 50 on on Ethereum. Haven't hit the 200 yet. That's around over 2,800, 2,600 at the moment. And like I say, we broke above 2,500 on on September 20th, and we've been we've been above it ever since. We have had three negative closes on Ethereum, so it's not doing as well as Bitcoin. We will see if that continues. Okay, any questions or comments about the markets overall before we go to Altcoin Alert, Altcoin Alert, and iCoin Pro? See if we can find some day trades and swing trades. 
Okay, let's go to altcoin alert. Oh, check the chat real quick. Okay. <laughs> Paul has some health advice in the chat if you want to check that out. <laughs> All right, altcoin alert. Let's reload, get the most current information. The first sort I usually do is AA, the altcoin alert score, but they've changed it some, and it's not putting forth the results it used to. It's not a deal breaker on altcoin alert. I have other sorts that I use, as you guys know. But some of the coins I was trading last month, Didix and Jasmine, are now way, way low on their scores. I mean, below 60 and, and low 60s for Jasmine, which you know, I'm looking for 80 or higher. We looked at MogCoin on Thursday, so I'm disinclined to look at it again. It's down 10% today, so you might want to check that one out. But they I'm... said they fixed that error. I apologize for interrupting. Yeah, they no, said you... they fixed that error. Right, and I think they overfixed it. So uh. it's possible that they have. Yeah, I mean, they probably fixed it, and this is just the new results it's generating. But, I mean, there's very little in the 70s, let alone the 80s, but that just might be a function of the market. So let's do some other sorts. Social activity has been my go-to one lately. I'm going to match that up with trading activity. Looking for fire on both. The FTX token, uh, you might recall the controversy regarding, regarding this implosion of this, um, this exchange back in 2021, about three years ago. I guess they're going to be releasing some of their, some of their tokens for sale and, and other tokens besides FTX. And I had that on my bullish list in Twitter, which it seems bearish to me, but be on the lookout for that. I don't think I'd be inclined to buy the FTT token due to its association with that scandal. Okay, scrolling down, CFX, something I trade occasionally. Athena's been, I might look at that one. And Nier, I like a lot. I've had three good swing trades with Nier this, uh, in the past few months. I think we'll look at that one first. Okay, go to my list. Should be there. And there we go. I'm on my 15-minute day trading layout. And I've got the supply and demand visible range, Lux Algo indicator showing me support and resistance. We're currently coming out of support on this one. We have resistance up here at around 555. So if you took this one now, just based on support and resistance, you've got a retrace, retrace potential of 5% you know, over a day. That's a really good day trade. So that could be a potential entry. We just had the, uh, on the RTI, relative trend index, it just it dipped below the 20 and just broke above. So this could be a good entry for that reason. And we have a couple of green candles printing on the cumulative delta, which is something I use for trend-based confirmation. So I like this one, potentially not financial advice, of course, as a day trade now. So you might want to wait for another dip on the 15-minute RTI, or it just might shoot up. If you want a trend confirmation, you could set an alert on the 50, but it's gone above the 50 three times and gone nowhere after that. So we've had a few fake outs on this with these indicators. So this one's the closest thing we have to a recent good entry. That went up 1%, dipped down about 1.3, and then up here almost 3%. So that's a really good day trade in 12 hours. For my day trading as an experienced trader, I'm looking for 1% to 1.5% move on the chart. I'm at 10x leverage trading on a foreign exchange. But for those of you who are newer to this type of trading, you might look for maybe 3 to 5% on spot trading on Coinbase or, or Kraken. 
Um, and so you're going to be looking for a little bit bigger moves than I am. That and goes through some point that they just decide. So I'm just take six comma two. Uh, okay. So heard... what you do to solve something like this is okay. Well, if my line is y equals three x four. My okay. parallel line must be y equals three x. Okay, I need to mute everybody. Okay, that was uh, interesting. Where was I? All right, back over to near as a day trade. So if you want to set an alert, maybe you don't trust this at the moment, you want to see con better confirmation, you can right-click on the RTI. And add an alert. Crossing up for a spot trade. You can choose the 20 or the 50 or both once per bar close. I usually use the information source for the alert name, social activity, sort, trading view will remember that if you use it a few times. On notifications, notify in the app on my phone, toast notifications, little pop up on my laptop, play a sound also on my laptop. And there's a few to choose from. There's a new category of, of sounds that I've been playing around with. Voices, funny. Uh, let's do cash register. I'll click create. This is on the 50, right? To break above the 50. So each time that, that breaks above the 50 on the RTI, that alert will go off at the end of the 15-minute period. And I can look at the charts, check Bitcoin, see if that's something I want to take. And then I'll match that up with my cumulative delta, since uh, for me, breaks above the 50 are, are trend-based. Now, the way I would do this ordinarily is a day trade going both directions. I'm going to add an alert on the RTI, and I'm going to choose entering a channel. Let's choose 80 on top, 20 on the bottom. Once per bar close, social activity sort. And my notifications, they're going to be the same, but I'm going to choose a different sound. So I'll take funny out and use one of my usual ones. Classic. These are the class. These are all the, the ones we used to look at are all under classic now. So three notes reverb. It's one of my favorites, click create. And then those alerts should show up over here on the alert section. Okay, any questions on near as a day trade? Okay, I'm gonna click on my, my one hour chart. And look at this as a swing trade. Maybe you don't wanna look at this, you know, four or five times in a single day, that's fine. I've got you covered with the swing trade layout on the one hour chart. I'm using the supply and demand visible range, the same indicator for support and resistance, obviously on a longer time frame. Got the super trend to help me with entries and the Trendio LSMA for confirmation. At the moment, we're in a sell on near. So I'm going to want to see this maybe dip some more and then curl back up. So if that happens, probably around here somewhere. And look for between, say, 6 and 9%. I'm usually looking for around 10% or higher on my swing trades. So not loving this at the moment. We do have a green trend due LSMA, but we have a bunch of red candles, so that's a little confusing. This is more the look I'm, I'm wanting to see on the... Um, on this layout. Yeah, that's not a good example. Here's a better example. So it comes out of the, the green zone, buy signal triggers, LSMA triggers, and then you've got this entry probably right around here. And there's your you know 12% and that takes actually less than a, less than a day. So that's a good day or a good swing trade. I like swing trades that are fast, <laughs> but I don't mind staying in this for a few days or even a week or two 
if I if I achieve my goal. And so I use this this um, Lux Algo you, quite a bit from to determine where I get out. I might go to a longer time frame, the four hour. Looks like that's going to be about the same. Yeah, a little bit more, 10%. In the day is about the longest I go. And near has been, you know, over $8 in, in late May. I'm not, I don't want to wait that long, though. I'd probably look at this here, late July. Even that's longer than I probably want to wait. If I got in now, retrace here to 630, 18%, but takes several weeks. So I'm kind of on the fence on this one. Any question on any questions on near as a swing trade? Okay, so let's do a different altcoin alert sort. And that was social activity. Take a quick look at one hour projected range. I uh, should reload first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When I sort this, I want to see usually positive values on both the upper and the lower. And we don't have any of those, so I'm going to skip that one. Go to short-term sentiment. I'm going to match this up with Elder Impulse Hourly. Let's see if I can find any matches here. I may not, so we may have to do some reverse sorting today to find. Yeah, am I finding anything here that matches up with the Elder Impulse Hourly? So my next option is the long-term sentiment sort. I'm going to match that up with the Elder Impulse Daily. We've got Bonk, just one of those meme coins. Talked about FTX token. Algo, it's an older project. Manta, LRC, IOSTs are mostly older projects. Beam, Balancer, CFX. Woo, I like, up almost 12% today. Let's look at Woo. This one moves pretty well. Okay, woo on the 15 minute chart. And it's currently in the red zone, about to come down. So this would be one for me to short. So I'm going to set that up accordingly. I'm going to right click, excuse me, on the RTI. And enter a channel, 80 on top, 20 on the bottom. Once per bar close, that was a long-term sentiment sort. And notifications, probably just leave those the same. Create that alert. So if this dips down below the 80, I can look at this as a potential short. If it crashes down pretty hard and then comes back up on the 20, that would be a good entry for both a spot and a leverage trade on the long side. Okay, so that's the day trade on Wu. I'll go through these a little go through these a little faster. I'm gonna go with the one hour chart. Look at this as a swing trade, and it looks like we're in the red zone again on this layout. Currently on a buy signal, but dipping down at the moment on the four hour chart. Don't like this either. Eight hour. Day. Okay, in the day chart, you've got retrace potential over here at about 30 cents, which would be you know a great 
a great swing trade. Here's resistance here. It's about 6%. Then you get it about here. 69% in 130 days. So that's a long trade, but obviously a great result. So it's got that potential, but again, longer than I want to be in. But let's say you want to catch the next, the next buy signal. Like this one's kind of petering out, goes into a sell, then shoots back up, probably around this area. Yeah, it's not a very good, not a very good recovery. But since I have this up and I'm thinking about it, I'll go ahead and show you how to do an alert. Right click on the super trend. I like the super trend because it's alert friendly. You can leave it this way to go both directions. Those of you who are spot trading, choose the buy. I usually just leave it on for once. Alert name, long-term sentiment. Notifications, I usually go with um, handbell for this one, but again, I'm not loving the setup, so I think I'm gonna pass on this. Any questions on Woo? Okay, let's flip this sort. And on short term, look for bearish. I will do this sort because this will show me what's been beaten down is due for recovery. And then I can also, since I often trade both directions, just catch a short on it. So on very bearish, we've got compound, just something I trade from time to time. Ave, I did this one earlier in the week. So we'll look at Ave. Go back to the day trade. All right, so this is a potentially good entry on a long position. We're in the green zone. We broke below the 20 on the RTI, so we're due for a return. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up this alert. Right click on the RTI, entering a channel, 80 on top, 20 on the bottom, once per bar close. That was another, that was short term, I believe. And the rest will be the same on that one. If you if you just want to spot trade it instead of entering a channel, go with a crossing up and choose the 20. That should that alert should happen soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and go both directions. So enter the channel and the rest looks good. So I'm click create. And I've got my alert set for Ave. On a swing trade. It's a pretty good looking setup. Next time you get a buy signal, probably happen around here and retrace potential 10% to the red zone. Yeah, I like it. So I think I'm gonna set this one up. Right click on the super trend, go with buy only once, short term. Notifications, I'll go with handbell. Well, maybe we'll do something fun. Nature, bullfrog, why not? Click create. And I'm ready for Ave as both a swing and a day trade. Any questions on this one? Okay, any questions on all coin alert overall? Any coins you want to look at? Okay. Yeah, why not have a look at Solana? Uh, you and your Solana. Me and my <laughs> Solana, yeah. Craig is a frequent trader of Solana, so we will look at that. Okay, on the day trade setup. Yeah, it looks like some of the others we've seen dipped below the 20 on the RTI due for recovery. It's in the 150s. 
Um, yeah, I like it. I'm inspired. I think I'll go ahead and set an alert for that. Both directions. Entering a channel. 80 on top. 20 on the bottom. Once per bar close. CPW. Oh, I already got a, an alert for you. Um, this is my doge. So, uh, that's it. CPW SOL suggestion. All right, I've got a new entry. We'll see if TradingView remembers it. And just, just by the way, TradingView doesn't remember any of mine now. I don't know what's happened. Really? I need to reset something. Yeah. Interesting. Tried clearing the cache and doing a few things, but. Huh. Voices. Look at me. Hey, take a look. All right. So I've got my alert set for Solana. And I like the setup. So cool, cool. Oh, let's um, take a quick look at the swing trade. What's Solana saying on um, altcoin alert? Good question. You can just search the coin, can't you, I think? Yeah. Hardly ever use this, but um, there we go. Neutral. Bearish. Bearish and neutral. Neutral and bearish. Very bearish on long term. Interesting. I disagree with that. It's just looking at the chart. and Well, and the sentiment too. So, huh. Yeah, interesting. So if you want to catch the next the next pump, that probably happens around here somewhere. And 5%. So I don't know. Not liking this as a swing trade, but it's a day trade I do. Okay, any questions on Solana? Craig disagrees with Altcoin Alert. <laughs> so do with that what you will. Let's head over to iCoin Pro. We'll look at a whoa, that was loud. Um, got an alert on Ave. So yeah, that would be a, a day trading alert. And I'm already in a long position from yesterday. Unfortunately, I'm stuck in an XRP trade. So for that reason, I'm not going to take this at the moment, but um, as soon as that one clears, I, I would. I try to have one trade going each direction most of the time, but not more than not more than that. All right. RTI broke above. We'll see if that uh, if that's a move for for Ave. Okay, over to iCoin Pro. And I'm on the buddy coin crawler. We'll go ahead and start with that. Do a quick reload. And again, sorry for my computer being slower than usual. I had a really good connection here, but today it's been slow. All right, so I'm looking for values usually a 4% and higher on the buddy coin crawler tool from iCoin Pro. I'm sorting by the average 24 hour to SMA and looking for values, like I said, 4% and over. I've got a couple curve, Dow token, CRV. I like that one. That one moves pretty well. Band moves pretty well. And that's about it on those I have some experience with. And then FTX again. Let's look at CRV. iCoin Pro, as you know, is the home of the one, two, three dip, which inspired my 15 minute RTI approach. So my alert, my approach is more alert friendly. 
but the idea is to duplicate the the three drops on the uh, the five minute chart and put them on the fifteen minute chart with an alert going in the correct direction. So on CRV, it's pretty similar to Solana. What we looked at uh, the the bigger dip below the twenty and it's shooting back up. Haven't broken the twenty yet. So I'm going to set that alert on the RTI. Right click, add an alert. Entering a channel, 80 on top, 20 on the bottom. And if you're trading spot, you just want to go with the 20 crossing up. And it's buddy coin crawler. And we'll go with the classic. Three notes reverb. And I'm good to go on my CRV alert. Okay, as a swing trade. Deep into the green zone. Starting to come back. So this has pretty good retrace potential. Let's see if that prints right around here. You know, 10%. To the bottom of the red zone. I like that a lot. So I'm going to set that alert up as well. Add alert on super trend. Go with the long or the buy. Just leave it on only once. Buddy coin crawler for my alert name, notifications. Uh, let's go with handbell. And I am set up for my. CRV alerts on both swing and day trades. Any questions on that one? Okay. So that was Buddy Coin Crawler. The one I use the most is the RSI Spy. So we'll bring that up. It'll take a moment to load. You see, Jay, can I ask a question? Sure. Yes, Bob. Um, back on um, um, CRV. Um, okay. You're doing a swing swing trade. Um, I was just wondering why you didn't have a longer time frame than one hour. Uh, is that what you're on? One hour? Yeah, okay. short term swing trade. Oh, I see. Um, okay. So yeah, sometimes I, I get sometimes I get lazy and don't say short term. So, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, I'm I'm an, an unusual trader that I learned day trading first before hodling and swing trading. So. Um, and I think both these systems, iCoin Pro and Altcoin Alert, are, are more geared towards day trading and short-term trading. So right. that's why I focus on those. If you're more of a longer-term swing trader, the principles are the same. You just expand it out on a longer time frame, which is why you'll see me go to the four-hour chart and the day chart as well right. to, uh, to help yeah. you guys out, plus to look for additional retrace potential. Can you put that, can you put that on the day chart? Day time frame just to see what All it right. looks like. So we're on the daytime on the CRV. This is my um, my day trading layout, but you get the yeah, yeah, yeah. the support mm -hmm. resistance is going to be the same. Right. So sure. it's okay. pretty tight actually for CRV. Yeah. It's got well seventy percent, so that's a little misleading. So on the day chart, you could go up to this 34 cents from where you are now and get a pretty good. Right. That would be right. a pretty good uh, trade. Okay, cool. Yeah, thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah. 20%. All right. Um, let's see. We were looking at iCoin Pro, RSI Spy. Yeah, I hope I can get. Hoping I can get this to load. All right, good. So we've got, I'm looking for values below 30. Those are coins that have usually been beaten down or due for recovery. Got a lot I don't know. Uh, STMX, well, Polkadot, KSM. Okay, it's a little better than I thought. Doge, CRV we looked at. Polygon, formerly known as Matic. Okay, there's more options here than I thought. Sand, ADA, KNC. 
quite a few that have been um, broken down. Probably similar layouts to what we saw with Solana and Curve. So let's look at Doge. It's got good, good volume as usual. I like shorting Doge. I don't go long on it very often. We're probably going to have a long setup on this. Yeah. So this is pretty similar to what we've seen already, so I won't go through it in any detail. Um, go ahead and set that alert if you want to trade this to break above the 20. And if you want to go break above the 50, use cumulative delta or some other similar indicator for confirmation. It's in the green zone, so you've got the it's coming out of support and you've got potential retrace value if you took it now. You know, there's resistance here for 2.6% profit. Again, here for 4.4. Again, here for 6%. And then to the bottom of the red zone here for just under 10%. So I think those were all would all be reasonable exits on a long position on Doge. On the one-hour chart for... <clears throat> For a swing trade, we just printed a green candle on the hour chart, close to the green, but not ideal. If this prints a green, probably happen right around, happen right around here, and then you're looking at a 10% return. So I kind of like this as a swing. But I just don't long doge very often, so... Um, so I'll probably pass on this one. Any questions on Doge? We are at about 40 minutes, so that's about as long as I care to go, unless uh, you guys have something else you want to talk about. Crypto-oriented. Um, Alcoin Alert, Icoin Pro, day trading, swing trading, short term. All right, I will... Wrap it up here. If you're watching on the recording, thank you for that. I'd rather see you live on Mondays and Thursdays. And um, okay, well, Paul asked a question in the chat. Why do you prefer short as opposed to long? And that is a bit misleading. I do have a bag of coins I hold, you know, the, the basics, uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, and those are long-term holds. Most of those I purchased in late 22, early 23, and I'm still holding holding those. So I sold a portion when we hit all-time highs um, earlier this year. So I, I do that. That's a portion of my portfolio. But for what I do most of the time is day trading. And it's probably just I'm biased because I learned that way. And I just like my, making money every day or every other day. And then it's also fun when I set up something like I show you guys on the short term swing and it actually happens. You know, I had a Solana trade earlier in the week. Well, actually last late last week or over the weekend that that resolved. I bought at 133, sold at 159, 18% uh, or so took a few, took a couple of weeks, a little longer than I like, but you know, it's, I enjoy having a plan, you know, like Bryce says, plan your trade, trade your plan, plan your trade or the other way around. So if I do a setup like I just showed you and it executes, I enjoy that. So, and, and it's profitable. But there's nothing wrong with going longer. You know, this is, crypto is my livelihood. I have the time to do this. If you don't, then you may want to be more inclined to take longer term trades just because that's, that works better around a, a busy schedule. Was the question about the length of the trade or about taking shorts versus longs? Okay. I answered the wrong question on Doge. Well, yeah, no, that would have been helpful. Okay. He just clarified his question. Yeah. Um, probably because I think Doge is a piece of crap. <laughs> and uh, so when it, when it comes to a project that, that I don't think um, – you know, has much value. I'd rather go short on it than long. So, but, um, you know, Craig pointed out to me, I don't know, a couple of years ago at this point that the Doge tends to pump on the 13th of the month. So I still have that, that uh, reminder on my calendar. And so on that day, I often go long, but um, 
Yeah, it's just a, bi a personal bias I have. Traders can be biased, superstitious. It's probably not good, but I should just look at the charts and the news and, and trade accordingly. But I guess I let my, my bias slip out on that one. All right, good question, Paul. Anyone else? All right, I'll wrap it up here. And um, if you guys are watching on the recording, thank you for that. Check out the opportunities in the pinned comment. They help fund the channel. I will see you on Thursday. Have a good trading week. Bye-bye.